Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In today's video, we're going to install LibreOffice on a Chromebook. The first thing we want to do is enable the Linux development environment. So to do that, I'm going to click on my launcher here, and I'm going to find my settings, either by searching or finding the icon. And on the left-hand side of the settings, near the bottom, you'll see Advanced. I'm going to click on that to expand that tab, and scroll on down to where I see Developers. Here I'll click on Developers, and where it says Linux Development Environment, I'm going to click Turn On. That's going to start up a setup wizard for the Linux development environment. I'm going to click Next, and it's going to give me a username based off of my email, and then a recommended disk size. I'm going to change this because my Chromebook does have some more storage, so I'm going to up this. You can keep it as is if you want. Depends on how many apps you want to install, install, and the size of your Chromebook. And once I change it, I'm going to click Install. And that's going to take a few moments to run ahead and install Linux. So I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once that goes ahead and installs, a terminal will pop up. I'm going to expand this and increase the size here so you can see it a little bit better what I'm doing. And I'm going to make sure everything is up to date by typing sudo apt get update and then two ampersands and then sudo apt get dist dash upgrade. And I'm going to use a dash y flag so I don't have to answer yes to the additional space. And I'll hit enter and let that run. Okay, now that the Linux development environment is installed, to install LibreOffice, we can do sudo apt get install LibreOffice and do a dash y flag. And that's going to go ahead and install LibreOffice. This will take uh, 1.4 or so gigabytes, so make sure you have enough room for it. Uh, it is a bigger program. Okay, once that's installed, let's open up our launcher here. And we see we have several of the LibreOffice icons here. Um, this first one here is LibreOffice Writer. So let's say I was going to use that on a regular basis. I would right click and pin to the shelf. And you can do so with whichever one of these you might use. Now I'm going to off it, open LibreOffice Writer here just to demonstrate. And here we go. We've got our document. And you can begin working on your document in LibreOffice on your Chromebook. Pretty sweet. If you like this video, like and subscribe.